Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the blessings of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contain all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you, you gave us the Eucharist as the, the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia. Has risen, has said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, o God who gave joy, joy to the world through the, the resurrection, resurrection of your Son, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of her womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions in our sentences, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and see the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with your charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is memorial of St. Francis Colt Guitart. St. Francis Colt was born at Gombrani in 1812, and after studying at the Diocesan Seminary at Finch, he entered the order at the Priory of Gerona in 1830. In 1835, the anti-clerical government closed the House of Studies at Gerona and dispersed the Dominican students. From that day until his death, he maintained a heroic fidelity to his Dominican vocation without the support offered by Dominican community life. Eventually, he was ordained at the Diocesan Seminary at Finch in 1836. After several years of parish ministry, he pursued itinerant preaching along with his friend St. Anthony Claret. He founded the Dominican Sister of the Annunciation to teach the children of the poor in the villages where he preached. In December, December 1869, Blessed Francis suffered a stroke which left him completely blind. He died at Finch on April 2, 1875. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand.
Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Hallelujah. Come, let, come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let, come, us, let us worship Christ, worship chief shepherd of the flock. flock. Hallelujah. The Lord is God, the mighty God the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, Come, let us worship Christ, Christ chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are people whose hearts go astray and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let Come us the worship Christ, Christ chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Please be seated. Be exalted, O God, high above the heavens. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies adorned among lions, who will devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a serpent's sword. O God, who rise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They let a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has ransomed his people. Alleluia. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant coasts, and say, He who scatters Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. They themselves shall be like water gardens, never again shall they languish. Then the virgin shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Such is our God. He will be our guide forever. Alleluia. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city, 
God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded. This made they fled in fear. A trembling seized them, them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the sheep of Tarsus. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled. Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Wall through Zion, wall all around it. Count the numbers of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. No mighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of all truth, you chose St. Francis to make known the name of your son and to instruct Christian people in holiness. By the help of his prayers, may the true faith be continually sustained and grow through the ministry of preaching. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the Apostles and the Presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you, that through the mouth of the Gentiles we would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as He did us. He made no distinction between us and them. For by faith He purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke did neither our censors nor we have been able to bear. On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened, while Paul and Barnabas describes the sign and wonders God had heard among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written, After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen heart of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is in full. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things known of old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, 
unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogues of every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all your lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please stand. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. And with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sa ating mga Pilipino, I'm sure na encounter na natin yan sa mga lalong mahilig magkwento. Kadalasan, kapag ka napapasobra yung kwento, uh, minsan tinatanong natin, puro kwento, anong kwenta? Walang kwenta. Uh, puro lang satsat, no? Uh, anong kwenta? For the past several days, and even week, no, we've been bombarded with the command to love, to love and to love, to love one another to spend your days loving because this is what the Lord has commanded us. But it's very human to ask, so if I love, what is it in for me? Anong meron ako dyan? Anong balik niyan sa akin? No? Uh, anong kwenta niyan para sa akin? Uh, human as we are, we also ask that. No? Uh, what is it in for me? In the gospel that we read today, we, that question was actually answered directly. Because ito yung balik kapag ka we comply, we follow, we obey the Lord's command to love. And what is the, what is the balik sa atin? Ano yung makukuha natin dyan? And uh, it is very clear that if we, are, we remain in God's love, we receive the joy that completes all our joy. We receive the joy that will make us want more and more, not for things, 
but to be with God, to remain with God. Halimbawa na lang po, alam natin na kapag ka meron tayong uh, nagiging masaya tayo, natutuwa, may mga ilan sa atin, and this is not very rare, na bigla na lang tumitigil sa kalagitnaan ng pagsasaya. Anong dahilan? Sapagkat iniisip nila, anong kasunod nito? Masayang masaya ako, pero anong kasunod nito? Ang kasunod ng saya ay lungkot. Ang kasunod ng pagdiriwang, dahil masaya, ay isang trahedya. May mga ganoon sa atin. And because they're very much aware that yung tuwa na nararanasan natin, yung saya na nararanasan natin, ay panandalian lamang. Ito yung saya na merong hangganan, may limitation. But that is not what is being promised in the gospel that we read today. Ito yung tuwa, ito yung saya, that when it is a joy and, unhappin, and a happiness that is with the Lord, it doesn't have an end. Di ba? May gadget kayong bago. Bagong bahay, bagong kotse, bagong asawa, o naman, bagong trabaho. At some point, mawawala yung nobility. And then, it will be just become an ordinary thing. And, you know, that when this source of our joy, of our happiness, ay something that is very material and something that is very temporal, talagang nawawalan ng kwenta, nawawalan ng gana, nawawala yung novelty. And we look for more. Ganun ng ikot no, ng ating pagsasearch sa totoong tuwa at sa totoong saya. In the gospel that we read today, we are given a secret, we are given the formula of how it is that a joy that we experience will linger, will continue, and will be sustained at walang hanggan. And how it is, that is, if we factor in that in our joy, in our hope, happiness, our Lord is in the middle of it. That's how our joy will linger, will continue, and on account of which, wala na tayong hahanapin pa. Kaya if you look intently sa, mga, sa buhay natin, lahat ng naging masaya tayo kapag wala yung Panginoon sa equation, hindi siya yung naging sentro, di ba? Nawawalan ng ningning. Nawawalan tayo eventually ng gana. Kahit gaano pa yan kamahal, kahit gaano pa yan kaimportante, kahit gaano pa yan kabago or kainovative o kung ano man yun, alam mo na magfi-fade, madalas nagfi-fade yung experience. Even nga sa relationship, sa bagay, obvious na obvious yun. Sa relationship, ganun din. Sa amin, minsan, ganun din. Ang joke nga lagi ni Father Enrico Gonzalez, kapag kabagong pari daw, eh ka, ang boses mo, eh talagang very energetic. Pero pagdating ng after 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, nawawalan din pa minsan-minsan ng gana. Yung joke nga niya, nasasimula daw ng kapagkabagong pare, kapag ka nagmisa, ganito pa, nakataas talaga yung kamay. Pagkadating ng araw, after 10 years, 20 years, nagiging miraculous medal na kapag ka nag nagsisimba, ah, nagmimisa ka. It comes, it comes to each and every one of us and to the best of us. In the gospel that we read today, when those time comes, we need to ask the question, ito bang tuwa ko? Ito bang saya ko? Ang Panginoon ba ay nasa gitna nito? Because if the Lord is in the middle of our joy, in the middle of our happiness, then it is genuine. And it is also lasting. My dear friends, we were commanded to love and to love and to love. For what reason? The reason is that we may be able to know how the Lord can remain in us. And when the Lord is with us, that joy 
is complete. That joy ay hindi lang puro kwento, kundi may kwenta para sa atin. And you all stand. Christ says, If you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will and you shall get it. Let us pray confidently inspired by his words and let your response be, Lord, we place our trust in you. Lord, we place our trust in you. That our church may become a true community producing fruits of love and peace, we pray. Lord, we place our trust in you. That unbelievers may encounter God in the love of Christians, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we place our trust in you. That married couples may be fruitful in their love for each other and so bear witness to their Christian faith, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we place, place our, our trust, trust in you. That the sick may be steadfast in their faith and remain united with Jesus even in suffering, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we place, place our trust, trust in you. For our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, we pray. Lord, Lord we, we place, place our trust in you. For the intentions of this Mass, the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, Lord we, place we place our, our trust, trust in you. In you that those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. We pray. Lord, Lord we place, place our, our trust, trust in you. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church, for you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant, we pray, that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth work of human hands it will become for us a bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you for the divine work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all His Holy Church.
Lord, be pleased with our prayers and free us from all guilt. In your love, wash away our sins that we may celebrate the mysteries which set us free. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, you are glorified in your saints, for their glory is a crowning of your gift. In their lives on earth, you gave us an example. In our communion with them, you give us their friendship. In their prayer for the church, you give us strength and protection. This great company of witnesses spurs us on to victory, to share their prize of everlasting glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, with angels and archangels and the whole company of saints, we sing our unending hymn of praise. May call it therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Si Cristo ay nunitari, sarili ni alini hami, bilang pagkait inumi, pinagsa sa luhan natin. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together 
with Francis our Pope, Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, a blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to serve from mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and will be, forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord, may we who receive this sacrament be inspired by the example of St. Francis of Paul. May we learn to proclaim what he believed and put his teaching into action. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at sa pakikisa po ninyo sa Banal na Misa. Lord be with you and with your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We shall now say the prayer para po sa blessing ng mga may sakit. And may sakit dito, nasa bahay, nasa hospital, our own relatives or our own friends, we pray for them. And this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing ng inyong mga religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who met heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. For your religious article, let's bless them. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.